In this video, we will go over your options for different customer settings. Begin by going over to your Settings tab. From here, we will select to go over your customer settings. Let's begin by defining your different customer types. You can differentiate the different types of customers that you have by adding more to this list. Let's say, for example, I would like to keep track of all my customers that are condo owners. We'll give this customer type a name. And you, can, you have the option to also provide a more detailed description. Once you have set all your different types of customers, when you go to add a new customer, you will have the option to select whether they are a condo owner or something else. Let's return to your customer settings. You also have the ability to edit the different customer statuses. For each service CEO customer status, you have the ability to rename any of these. For customer statuses with no activity, these are customers that you have logged into Service CEO, but we have no job history for them. For the customers that have a prospect status, these are ones that we have estimates created for. For an active status, these are customers that we actively have open jobs with. For active and recurring, these are customers that have open jobs that have recurrences on them. So these would be recurring maintenance jobs that you might have. For customers with an inactive status, these are customers that we currently do not have any open jobs with them, but we do have some job history from the past. For active and prospect, these are customers that have open jobs as well as estimates. And for active, recurring, and prospect, these are customers that have open jobs, recurring jobs, as well as estimates. Let's say, for example, we would like to change the inactive status. And we will call this old customers. Once you are done naming all your different customer statuses, we can return to your customer settings. In your customer settings, you also have the option to set the customer number that will start counting at next. You can select to edit here. And keep in mind, whatever, cus whatever uh, next customer number you select must be greater than the values that we have already have within the system. Once you have selected what number for service CEO to start counting at, we will return to our customer settings. And we will choose how the customer default name will appear. Again, select to edit. And from here, you can select whether you would like the last name to appear first or the first name. I'm going to keep it at the last name first. Now we will go to add a brand new customer. We will begin by providing the customer name. As you can see, because I had set the customer settings to provide last name first, Andrew's last name will appear first in the customer name. For the customer type, let's say that Andrew is a condo owner. And we will save Andrew to the customer database.
from here, you can see that the next customer number was set at 136, which is the customer number for Andrew. If we return to our customers list, we can also view the different statuses for each of your customers. For those that were set at an inactive status, which are customers that we currently do not have any old we do not currently have any open jobs with, but we do have some history with, they are set as old customers. This concludes our video on how to set up your customer settings. If you have any questions, please be sure to contact your customer success coach or contact our support team.